I love video editing almost as much as I love writing and I enjoy a good challenge. So today, I'll be showing you how I met a video challenge that came my way. Don't go away. Rose colored glasses, take one. Hi, I'm Dana. And I'm Angel. And you're watching Rose Colored Glasses with Lord and Lady Logan. In a world where people are quick to talk about the things they dislike, we want to keep it positive. So we'll be individually and collectively telling you about all the things we do like. We hope you enjoy the show. And if you do, please hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, and come back again. Hi everyone, I'm Angel Logan and thank you for joining me today on Rose Color Glasses with Lord and Lady Logan. If you're new to our channel and you want to watch some of our previous shows, or you're a current subscriber trying to catch up on episodes that you've missed, you can search us on YouTube by typing at Rose Color Glasses Logan, going to the hashtag Rose Color Glasses, or type the following web address into your browser youtube.com slash at rosecoloredglasses-logan. Herman, one of the guys over at Artless, the company where Dana and I get our music and footage license, he did a personal challenge of editing a video matching a randomly selected video theme with a randomly selected genre of music. He did an amazing job matching an animals and wildlife theme with electronic music, and he successfully created a very cool video as a result. Well, that challenge was presented to me and I wanted to see how well I could do. Now, because my experience level is different editing for our show and having been at this for only a short time, my approach and methodology might be different from the way more experienced creators may do this, but I'm always up for a challenge and perhaps I'll learn a few new things in the process to enhance my video editing skills. Okay, first thing is first, I need to find a way to make my selection. Throwing a dart at a spinning wheel with the categories would work since I have darts, but I don't have that type of a spinning wheel, so I'm going to try this instead. Okay, here we go. And it looks like we've landed on urban. All right. Now let's try the music. And this one is landing on classical. It's kind of hard to see because of the glare, so I zoomed in so you could see that it came out to be classical. to this challenge is that the video theme and music might not be a perfect fit in some projects. So it's important to learn how to make the best of the circumstances you have and find a way to make unconventional factors work cohesively together. Now, when Herman from Artlist began the challenge, he started by setting the tone with music, searching for the right background music for his video. However, as a writer, I need to approach this the way I would approach any project by establishing a story first with the footage to capture the video theme. I'll match the music to it later. The reason that I think establishing a story or theme first is so important is because I believe it helps us to find our overall direction with the projects that we're working on, whether it's creating video content, a song, article, a dance, a poem, a painting, or anything else. Knowing what it all means will help you find a starting point and figure out where you want to go from there.
Okay, so our theme is urban, and when I think of urban, I think of metropolitan, the city, hip hop, anything along those lines. And there's nothing more exciting than the bright lights in the city, the hustle and bustle, all the different sounds. You know, some people, when they think of the sounds of the city, they think of it as noise. But a lot of people, like me, think of it like a kind of music, almost a, almost a symphony. Now I think we've got something. And that might work with our classical theme. But we're not going to do anything with the music right now. We're going to come back to that later. For now, let's see what we've got for footage to see if we can make this work. There's a lot of really cool clips here, and I'm just kind of picking out different things that are capturing my attention and seeing where we can go with it. Um, wait a minute, I think I like this dancer here. Now this might fit in with the hip hop part of the urban theme that I'm thinking of. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I think I definitely have to use this. This is kind of that city street look that I'm thinking of. Yeah, now I'm kind of getting a feeling of what I want. You know, maybe some type of street setting like this. Um, you know, I could kind of picture it going for a little bit and then suddenly stopping and then starting again. Um, but I don't know. Oh, now, this is a whole collection that goes with the one that I'm looking at. So let's look down here. Uh, there's a lot of cool things here. The steam that you see in the streets. Yeah, I like that. Um, there's the traffic at night. Again, more lights. Oh, there's a siren. Ambulance lights. All kinds of good things. So I think I'm just going to start clicking on more of these and see what I can get out of it. All right, so now let's get into some street lights. I think we need a street light. Of course, all of these are during the day. Now I'm thinking, I mentioned earlier that I wanna have like sort of a pause or a break where the traffic stops. So I think it would make sense to have a street light like here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe she should be at the beginning of my video. And there's the street scene. Now this would be really cool because we want to show what it looks like at night. I think this is the scene that I want to stop and have like a break. But I don't want to show just that. I want to show other parts of the city. Maybe we might have her upstairs in her penthouse apartment looking over the city, imagining herself down in the city. And there she is with all the lights around her. I think this is a story I'm going with. Let's try this one. Um, you know, the subway is a big part of the city. So I think having a train going by would be really good. I'm gonna have to make sure I get some train sound effects for this subway. Um, there she is waiting for the train to go by and stop so she can get on it. So this is where the traffic stops. And then I think I'll have the light turn green and then have the traffic start up again. Okay. Now, I think I gotta put this dancer in here somewhere because he's really good and I think it would look really cool. Okay, so there's the still traffic. There's our stoplight. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them in there and we're gonna take off a little bit of the opacity so that he can be seen in front of that still traffic. Now, I think this looks really cool. Now let's add him into it. 
another guy on the street talking on the phone, all the lights around him. This is good. All right, now I think we're getting somewhere. Um, but I think we're going to need to find the music now to fit all of this because I have to find something that's got a good break that's going to fit that little section. So let's go over to Art List and see what we have for music. Okay, so the cool thing about Artlist is you can pretty much search the way you want it to be. Um, I'm looking for urban, uh, classical actually, and I want something that's, that's a little more cinematic, something that's more epic and powerful. Um, I'm looking at the waveform on all of them so that I can see if I can find one that's got a break in it. Okay, I think I may have found it. Yeah, I think this is it. There's the break. That's it. I think this is the one. Um, okay, now we need to do the sound effects. So I'm thinking of street sounds, horns, cars. We have a lot of good things to choose from from Artlist. So, although this type of video editing isn't typical for our YouTube show, it's important for me to learn new editing techniques and to learn how to adapt to circumstances that might not be so ideal or that easy. This will help me to continually grow as a content creator and improve my skills. The final result is only about 30 seconds, which you would think is super easy, but you'd be amazed at how much harder you have to work trying to fit everything into such a short video. This challenge definitely taught me a few things, and it was a lot of fun. So, without further ado, here's the final video. I'd love to hear about a challenge that you may have taken recently that helped you to do better at something that's important to you. Please share your experience in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. If you click on more in the description section right above the comments, you'll find links and information about our channel and today's show. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying our show, and I hope that you'll visit again to take a look through our rose-colored glasses. Until next time.